So the movie Abigail was released on digital this week, which is a pleasant surprise because I did not know this was coming out so soon. And I finally watched it on Amazon. And I got to tell you, here's my reaction to this movie. So what this movie is about, we have Melissa Barrera, who is the main protagonist in the movie. A crew of criminals, I guess you can say, are tasked to do this job to kidnap this little girl who is Abigail. And, you know, it's supposed to some kind of ransom or something like that. They kidnap her, take her to this abandoned house or mansion or whatever it is. They have to keep her there for hours until they get their man their uh, ransom money. And it's, when they get there, uh, they get the little girl, you know, because they got her chained up and stuff like that. So she can't escape. But little do they know, this is not your average little girl. She is really <laughs> a bloodthirsty vampire. So that's basically what the movie's about. It's about them trying to survive the night with this bloodthirsty uh, vampire child. So that's basically what this movie's all about. I just want to say F you to Spyglass because you guys got rid of the best thing in those screen movies. And F you to any of the people, any of the fans that were hating on Miss Burrell because she did a great job, a great job in this movie with her character. Um, heck, she might have dodged a bullet, who knows, but Miss Barrera's acting in this one, she was amazing like she did in the Scream series. She was the best thing y'all had in the Scream series recently and y'all just... Got rid of it, but that's okay, Miss Burrell. You still was great. I still loved your character in this movie in a different setting, fighting this vampire child, and she did an amazing job. So <laughs> I think you people may regret this, and I hope you do. Um, also, the spotlight will definitely go to is the actress that played Abigail, the little girl. I don't know what this girl has been in before. Her name is um, Alicia Ware. But I'm not sure this is her first acting job or she's going to be before, but if it is her first acting job, she did a great job with this, this vampire child character. I thought she was frightening, manipulative. She has some pretty good dialogue in this movie as well. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed her dialogue. What made her scary. I'm not going to say much of it because this movie has a lot of twists and turns in this movie and edge of your seat in this movie as well, which I really, really enjoyed. Horror elements in it. I love, love the comedic parts. There is a lot of laugh out loud funny parts in this film. That's another thing I would say. I would definitely label this. I guess they too label this a horror comedy, but I definitely would label this film a horror comedy. Great cast in this movie as well. Great cast. You got Dan Stevens, who was awesome. Kevin Durant, who plays this big dumb oath. He definitely made me laugh at this movie because he was just so, so dumb. But I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed his character. Uh, Catherine Newton as well, as you all know from Lisa Frankenstein, which I haven't seen yet. And also Amy in the Walls, Quantumania. She was Scott's um, daughter in that film. And uh, also got the late Angus Cloud was in this movie as well. And Jean Carl Esposito, who was also great. And when he was in, he wasn't really in it that much. But it was just the parts he was in, he was pretty good in as well. But this movie, like I said, guys, if you love vampire movies with a lot of blood, this movie has a ton of blood in it. I didn't expect that much, but has a lot of blood in it. Um, comedy action. I, mean, uh, yeah, I would say action too. Comedy action horror. I would say definitely check this movie out. Like I said, it has an awesome cast. Everything about it. I would definitely, I would definitely would. Whenever this come out on physical media, I'm definitely going to purchase this and definitely will watch this again. But yeah, highly recommend it if you love the cast, if you love, um, especially Mr. Labrera and this little girl that did an awesome job. If you like horror, like comedy and vampire films, check this movie out, guys. I really, really highly recommend it. So what I would give this film, me personally, I would give this movie a 9 out of 10. Highly recommend it.